Jenny, good afternoon. You can see it. The story is right here in front of me. This is Burnside right here. And look at all that drifting slow snow that cars are dealing with right now. I'm on this major street right here because crews are going to be focusing their efforts on streets like this first. Peabot out sanding those streets even right now as we speak. And as you can see, that snow is coming down kind of to the side right now. That's what we're dealing with. Drivers, be aware. I spoke with Peabot officials and a Peabot driver actually earlier today about how they're going to be working on these conditions to keep you safe. It's a busy day for the Portland Bureau of Transportation. They are laying down sand and de-icer throughout the metro area. I was with workers as they were heading out this morning, and I even spoke with one Peabot driver about his specific route. Well, today, if it snows, I'm going to be sanding. I'm going to be plowing. And what areas are you hitting? Southwest Portland. Peabot officials are telling me they are prepared for this winter storm, and I spoke with them about their game plan for the day. I'm told they'll start with the major thoroughfares and then fan out to the smaller arterials and some side streets from there. They have 55 plow trucks equipped for this, and they will be deployed as needed. But with several inches of snow expected in the metro area, I wanted to find out for you how they'll handle it after it falls. We're going to take care of the snow, and second, we are laying down a minimum of sand, um, and that is the main cleanup. So we will sweep the streets afterwards, but we're focused on actually getting ready for what's coming ahead. Crews will be out around the clock. They've already laid down more than 10,000 gallons of de-icer, but they're urging everyone to use public transit or just stay home if possible. Regardless, officials assure me they'll work to keep you safe. I'm going to be out until 6.30 this evening. Now, one more thing officials are telling me today. I want you to take a look at these cars. They are telling everybody to give more space if you have to be out of the road in between yourself and the car in front of you. You need that space to be able to stop. So please take extra time and precautions for yourself. Also, something else. If you see a snow plow out on these roads, the officials I spoke to said, please give them a lot of extra room so they can do their job. They've got to get these roads clean for you so you can drive on them safer. We're going to continue to stay on this coverage with team coverage for you throughout the day, so keep it here on Coin 6. Reporting live, Alicia Esch, Coin 6 News. All right, guys, we've all talked about the bad side of the snow, but today is all about the fun. These guys are showing me how it's done. All right, push me down. Here we go. This is the way to spend the day. I am so excited to go sledding. Just watch this. Sledding races, snowball fights, <laughs> skiing, and yeah, a tumble or two down the hill. Forget about driving, work, and school. Today, these kids are showing all of us the true meaning of a Portland snow day. Fun. Yeah. And while today might look like it's just for the kids, don't you be fooled. I caught some moms and dads getting in on all the fun, too, and let's be real. They are enjoying every minute of being off of work. We were pretty excited to uh, get the day off. I still, when the alarm went off this morning, I had to check my phone just to make sure that we were uh, no, school. no school today. And uh, these guys are pretty excited. And so are the pets. Well, at least some of them. So the moral of today's story is don't worry about the driving. Just get out on a hill like this. Bring out the kids and the pets. Have a great time. Build yourself a snowball or two and enjoy. Alicia Ash, Coin 6 News.